Good. Well, holidays are quickly approaching, and there are numerous reasons to want to get on the road to celebrate with family or just simply get away, take a vacation. But because of the pandemic, there are still some restrictions in many states and international countries. But don't worry, travel expert Troy Petenbrink, our friend, joins us once again with what we need to know before you start planning that next trip. So good to see you. Uh, talked to you not too long ago, but uh, Troy, a lot has changed, and I want to begin with hitting the road because just Yesterday, Mayor Bowser extended that emergency order till December 31st, which means also those travel restrictions are, are still in place. And we know those are changing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, right now, the district has a list of states that they consider hot spots. Uh, if you visit one of those states, return to the district, you're going to have to experience a 14-day quarantine. Now, it's all voluntary, but I think it's you know important that we do follow that. Um, what that means for travelers, though, is that you have to think about where you're planning, you know, your planning process and where you're going to go. Uh, the list is updated every two weeks. And one of the things about it is if your state's added to that list, even after you visited, uh, it's retroactive. So mm -hmm. you do have to consider that when you're planning your travel and especially as we approach the holiday season. Yeah, as a lot of people have learned uh, throughout the summer. Now, if we take to the skies and we talk about flying, uh, we may notice that that usual flight path that you've used in the past has changed. And I'm just saying this because, for instance, my husband, he travels for business. And what used to be a one-hour flight, easy flight for him, now has turned into a two-flight all-day affair, pretty much. And yep, so absolutely. Uh, what do we have to keep in mind here? We're seeing as many as 35% of routes have been cut from the airlines. Uh, and we're probably going to see a more of that. Uh, we're actually even seeing airlines pulling out of entire destinations. Uh, so one of the things around the holiday travel that I think people should be really concerned about is the fact that your flight may get canceled. It may not even happen. Uh, and it may happen last minute. So you've got to be conscious of that. I would also recommend, if you can do it at all possible, try to get a direct flight because the last thing you want is to be mid-trip when your flight's canceled. Mm. Uh, so I think that's really important to consider as you're planning. Yeah, if you're flying, having a plan B is going to be more important than ever. And uh, what, about, what about getting away by boat? I mean, are people booking cruises? Are these things going to take off again? <laughs> Hey, you know, that's a great question, Andy. Uh, the no sale order, the federal no sale order actually expires at the end of this month. Uh, and the cruise industry is anxious to start up again. Now, however, they got a lot of issues they're dealing with. Uh, testing. Uh, some of the ports that they normally go to don't actually want the cruise ships there. Uh, I don't think, even though the cruises will be allowed to begin in November, I don't think you're going to be able to see cruising actively happening until the beginning of next year. So I think mm -hmm. folks are really taking a chance right now if they're booking any cruises between now in the end of the year i would wait i would look at doing cruising maybe in you know the spring okay okay and uh, speaking about just just getting away and going to other places um do we know of other outside places are they starting to lift their restrictions and if so where should we be looking yeah, you know, it's interesting. Uh, in terms of international destinations, we are seeing more places open up. Uh, there's, uh, we were at a point where there's probably only about a dozen or so places that would welcome international travelers. We're now seeing that number as high as 50 plus. Uh, the issue there is that it varies by destination. You're seeing testing requirements. You're seeing requirements to have uh, special insurance when you visit. Uh, so, you know, it, you got to be very careful about that. We've also seen destinations open and then turn around and close with mm -hmm. very little notice. So uh, travelers may have booked trips, been ready to go, and then not been able to go. So I think there's a lot of issues with that right now as well, which also raises the point of maybe looking at getting travel insurance. Um, travel insurance is a modified. Oh, man. Troy. Troy. Earth to Troy. Okay, so, you know, this ha this happens with our, with our live Zooms. But you can see the information all right there. Uh, Troy Petenbrink, he's just so resourceful and great. And, uh, and you can always follow him online as well uh, if you want any more tips or tricks. But um, hopefully... You know, he comes on every now and then. We'll, we'll get him back, I promise. Love Aaron. hearing from him. Yeah. Always gives good information. Travel insurance, I hadn't thought about that. That is a mm -hmm. good idea, especially if you're planning a long time away from now, Angie, because you never know what could happen. Everything changes like that. Exactly. Yeah. All right, well, we got some fun stuff coming.